setting layer color if we go up to our layer properties in the layer palette right now everything is white and we like to set the various colors to help distinguish objects on the screen so it makes it easier to identify if you have things on the proper layer now we could also use these colors for plotting but typically much of our plotting is in black and white so it helps for clarity it helps for uh, you know ergonomics of your eyes and it, it makes a more efficient drafting when things are in color for example all I have to do is click on the layer text click on the word white or the white swash and it'll bring up a select color we have three different tabs the color index is the most common we use on it that's 255 flavors of color color number one is red color number two is yellow three is green four is cyan five is blue six is magenta seven is white in other words on a black screen it will draw a black line on a white screen this will be black so it will automatically invert for us these are grayscales be careful grayscales they don't show up all these here don't show up you're thinking oh that will work now essentially what you're doing is putting a very faint gray line down we can pick any color from the list here and they have a color number so uh, I'm gonna go with text as being red I'll say OK notice the red shows up also I'll highlight dimension and I'll pick and I'll choose red and I'm gonna go with hidden I'm gonna choose and we'll go with green now when I close the dialog box you see that the layers take on those properties you'll notice right off the bat that this doesn't seem to be right in other words my dimension is red this dimension is not so I'm going to pick on this dimension you can see that I have it uh, on the object layer I'm going to change it and put it on the dimension layer and immediately I now know that it's on the proper layer now I'm going to change it and put my hidden lines uh, as being the current line my hidden layer is my current layer now when I draw a circle um, this will be represented on the back side of the object you can see that it is green so I immediately know that hey this is on a different layer than these now so uh, right away the colors help identify things for us so we can select the color of any particular item and when I pick on the color I generally pick these index colors however we do have a true color which we can use millions of colors and we also have what's called color books these are what interior designers and in uh, industrial uh, designers product designers use for the colors of you know paint and etc and they go under what's called color books we have different color books that various designers use so those can be matched up to get a seafoam green and you'll know exactly what color that is uh, but most of the time in most of the industries we will use the index color of 255 colors